The city fathers have grand plans. They want Harare to be a world-class city by 2025. That includes making this city a litter-free city. Zero litter. It could be a mountain to climb. According to a World Bank report, Africa produces between 400 and 900 grams of waste per person per day. Harare risks being overwhelmed by the piling rubbish. The city council seems to be failing to timelessly collect a refuse from the residential area as well as from the central business district. And the companies are also supposed to embrace the cradle to the grave principle where they follow their product from manufacture throughout the life cycle up to disposal. But the problem at the moment is most of the companies are leaving their product hanging within the life cycle. The result, eyesores like this, which are a major health hazard, especially during the rainy season. The Environmental Management Agency says the city cannot go it alone and needs partners. Q, proudly Zimbabwean, a local environmental group that has come up with an initiative that brings rubbish back to life. I'm backstage at this first ever Trash and Show. There's certainly no shortage of excitement and anticipation on this side of the curtain. Time now to find out what the audience thinks about this. Professional models hit the runway, showing off creative designs made from trash. It was a modest attendance at this event, but participants say this was the first step in the right direction. We're just showing the whole world that we can recycle everything. It's a, a nice challenge, you know, rather than the normal fashion shows, and it's for a good cause. We want our streets to be clean. I think I really like trash. These designs may not make it into the stores this season or anytime soon, but trash-inspired fashion could provide an unexpected helping hand to municipal authorities in their bid to restore Harare's lost status. Farai Mokotuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.